I love football. There's so many aspects to the modern game. The beer, the crisps, <laughs> the dirty songs. Just savouring the pre-match atmosphere. <laughs> do you mind? I think we could do without your pre-match atmosphere. Oh, I love a good burp, me. Really good chewy one. <laughs> Big, solid, beer-flavoured belch. A really huge, tongue-twanging mouthful of gas and dinner. Nothing like it, especially at the footy. Gladiators is my sport. <laughs> I love it. Such thighs. <laughs> Colossal thighs. They could crack nuts with those thighs. <laughs> in Wolf's case, his own. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm going to go in for it one day, when I've pumped enough iron to film a leotard. <laughs> I've already got my name. Love Muscle. <laughs> yes, football is boring compared to gladiators. Football is not boring. It's the reason God made Saturday afternoons. Football is just a socially sanitised homoerotic ritual. Socially san... What nonsense, Constable Habib. Is there no trendy leftist theorem which you will not uncritically embrace? Some American feminists think sport was invented so that men could avoid confronting their sexuality. Some American feminists think that phoning a woman while she's having an afternoon nap constitutes assault. <laughs> oh, no erotic ritual. Coconuts and custard. On what evidence is such an appalling generalisation based? Well, I think it's obvious. For instance, Gary plays football every Sunday. Now, what do you do after the game, Gary? Well, let me think. Uh... We all get in the bath together? Right. Oh, and I suppose you're suggesting that men bathing together must be by definition a sexual act. What a sad world it has become. Sometimes I despair, I really do. I think we should let him finish, sir. Well, we have a bit of a splash and a bit of a sing-song, you know. The airs on a dicky dido, tits out for the lads. <laughs> uh, all the classics. And then after that there's a towel fight. You meet each other with wet towels. Well, you've got to have a flick, haven't you? <laughs> then we all get in the pub, pour a load of beer over each other's heads and sing more songs about lovely saucy birds. And are any lovely saucy birds actually present at this point? Oh, get out of it. It's a lad's thing, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, when we're well sorted, we'd probably take our trousers off, hang them over a lamppost, and if it's been a really good night, fall over in a puddle of om on the way home. <laughs> there you go. Blokes singing about women, but actually wallowing in their own naked excess. It's transparent suppressed homoeroticism. As long as it gets you pissed. <laughs> Constable Habib, do you think that the gay sexual community would thank you for categorising their particular sexual preference as the act of a disgusting, puerile, drunken oaf like Boyle? <laughs> Your mistake, Constable Habib, is to seek a sexual explanation for the simple truth that men understand football, but they rarely understand women. Oh, that's very true, sir. Even the Dutch game is a picture of simplicity and clarity compared to the mind of a woman. I mean, I could demonstrate the mechanics of the offside trap to you, but I couldn't tell you why all the women I have ever loved say to me, I've got a fat bottom. And then I say, yes, I like it. They throw the dinner at me. Dying about a girl's bottom is part of a man's duties. It makes up for never putting the toilet seat down and not replacing the loo roll when it's empty. Well, explain this then. What is it about the inability of women to get out the house? What? You heard. Why can't women ever get out of the house? I say, Tina, we are leaving at 7.30. That is 7.30, not a quarter to eight. Not next year, not in another lifetime when we've come back as a couple of insects which only live for a day, which she'd spend in the bathroom, putting mascara on her antennae and trying to stick 300 contact lenses into her multiple eyes and lipstick in her spiracles and blonde in her follicles. Yes, the kickoff is... Excellent. I shall come on, Tina! She says, I've got to put my face on, haven't I? I say, right, I'm waiting in the car. She says, well, wait in the car. I say, I will wait in the car. She says, right, go and wait in the car. I say, going out to the car.
car. She says, you go to the car. It grinds you down. <laughs> oh. <laughs>